Welcome to the Wing It Call, November 15th, 2016. How's everybody doing today? Take a knee, please, and start to to raise your hand. Lord, thank you for all the guidance, the patience that you have shown us, the wisdom that you have provided us. Some of us me, aren't always getting the message that you're trying to send us. All I ask is that you hit me one more time with the two-by-four to get my attention and open my eyes, open my ears, and open my heart. And I ask for your guidance and for all of my brothers and sisters who are also listening. I ask that you not smack them with the two-by-four, but at least bring them some understanding and wisdom, and I ask this in Jesus Christ's name, amen. Also, oh, disclaimer, we're not attorneys. Um, CPAs, financial advisors, and this, none of this is to be considered any form of legal advice. This is our opinion and what we've heard and what we think. And for the rest of the disclaimer, please go to the wingedcall.com, click on the disclaimer tab, and you'll get the rest of the disclaimer. Hold on just a second, please. Hello, where? Are you? Call is going. You are MIA. Oh, what do you know? Our text, we're crossing in space. All righty then. Well, hello there, Art Meister. How are you today? I'm um, fantastic. Um, Art's just coming in to let you know that he is he is alive and kicking. He really doesn't have any intel to share, but people have requested to hear his lovely baritone voice, and so he is here to say howdy. I won't sing a song uh, with my baritone voice. I won't do that. Hello, okay. everybody out there in currency land. Uh, yeah, there is really no intel. We're waiting for 800 numbers. That's all. We don't know what's holding them up. I mean, you, know, you hear this and you hear that, and none of the information has been correct, really, so... I prefer not to even tell any information what little there is because there isn't any really. Every day somebody says, we're going to get them tonight, we're going to get them tonight, but we'll get them for sure. 
sooner or later. Every day it's closer. That's all we know. But anyway, hope you all having a great day out there. Beautiful weather here in Tennessee, about 70 degrees, and it's going to get colder in a few days and back down to our wintertime temperatures. But, uh, well, we are in November after all. And we do have seasons here in Tennessee. Um, so we do get the four seasons. We just don't get it as brutal as they do up north, thank God. I used born and raised in New Jersey where we got those nor'easters come up there and dump a couple feet of snow on you in December and January and February. And when you were a kid, it was great. But when you're an adult, you hate that stuff. Don't even like to drive in it. Looks pretty. That's about all I can say for snow. So anyway, you yeah. northern took a lot of snow. You enjoy it this year. That's all I can tell you. I hope we don't have too much. Anyway, I'll turn it back to you. Thank you, Art. Thank you for embracing our presence. Um, I'm kind of waiting for Wingman because we're we got a little stick going on. But you know what we can do? I'm going to ahead, Art. If you can just mute yourself on your end, that way, if you have something to say, you can just come back in. All right. Yeah, I did. Thanks. We will go ahead. Uh, you're still not muted, Art. Uh, I muted my okay. desk phone. Let's put it that way. Which it's nobody still can hear. I'll, I'll mute it again. You won't hear me, I assure you. Okay. Um, we'll take a caller. And star two to raise your hand. Houston. Can you hear me now? 281. Yeah, Jerry, how you doing? Good, how are you doing? Uh, okay, well, let's start with the good news first. Uh, we got we got our boy in, and I, I still think uh, we, there was a little uh, divine intervention, but we got him in. So hopefully that'll be that's a, a bit of very good news. Uh, I guess one thing I want to mention here is uh, very, uh, the rest of the, rest of, the, of my discussion is not so good, I think. Uh, I don't know if you heard uh, Matt or did you read uh, Mountain Goat's uh, post, but it was yeah, pretty dreary. Um, she, I believe it's a she, uh, completely debunked the whole uh, Zim deal. She kind of said that the Zim was a whole thing, the Zim was a sham. And uh, forget about it, there's not going to be any Zim. It's been expired in uh, September and everything else. And it was very, you know, kind of depressing. But the thing about Mountain Goat is that she um, she has like five pages of detailed information. It's not like one or two liners that's going to happen, and that kind of bothers me. And I remember even back in the days of you know Tony and DC, uh, they they kind of respected Mountain Goat to a certain degree. Uh, and also getting back to Mountain Goat very briefly is that uh, she was still not very um, pessimistic on the RV, but she gave so many things that had to happen beforehand. I mean, the way she's talking, uh, forget Thanksgiving, forget Christmas, hopefully sometime in 2017. So I guess my concern now mainly for you and um, Ico and Art and everything is, where's the back wall now? Um, as an example, if you look at Missoula, um, I thought we we had heard how many times Missoula's taken, we're in great shape, and they're, they're buying fireworks, and they're going to, have big celebrations. Then in the news, like two days ago or yesterday, they said, well, they're still working on Missoula, and it looks like uh, we might capture them pretty soon. But, okay, okay, but, okay. All right, so, so, so here we go. <clears throat> I know where you're going. It's it's not all about Iraq. We're, we're directed to watch that. But on the Zim, I'm – we're not even going to argue about that. Not even it's just a short discussion, and it's it's it boils down to this: you got some, you own some, and nobody knows until you get there. They they can speculate all the things that you have a question about. Hold on to it when you go to your exchange appointment. Pop it down there and say, show me the money or they're going to laugh at you and tell you the trash can's over there. It's all speculation and, until you get there, even about the rates. So I, I don't care what currency it is. They can spout off all these things, but until we get there, 
and they flip the screen around and you start the negotiation, you won't know anything. True? Yeah, well, that's true, but everybody, except for maybe, I, now, I, you know, maybe your friend Nick, uh, but everybody is uh, saying, hey, it's there. And, you know, see, here's, here's one of the things. I, I have a lot of faith in you and, uh, <clears throat> and Art and everybody, but what, I'm, here, here's the facts. People like the Knicks of the world, uh, they're right until it happens. I mean, they can say anything they want, and then all you have to do is go back. There's no RV. So they say, oh, gee whiz, maybe they're right. And so, okay, well, hold that's, on. That's the- hold, hold on. I know, I know. Uh, wingman showed up, but as I've had, as I've said before, everybody has an idea. They've made their statements. And until this goes down, we who believe are going to be the butt of all the jokes, the ridicule, just like Jesus was before he got hung on the cross. But right after all that, that happened, well, okay. I have no hey, intention on, on hanging on anybody's cross. Listen, I have, okay. a, I have an explanation from another direction, which, I, which maybe might help a lot of people. If you think of everything that you have heard, with the exception of the existence of Executive Order 13303, take everything else you've heard, and I mean everything, and treat it as an elaborate story around what is actually happening because nobody except the people who are making this happen know what is and, and I'm talking about the president of Wells Fargo. I don't care who you who you pull up in front of me and say this guy knows what happened, what's happening. I guarantee you he doesn't know because the people who really know aren't in touch with anybody. Okay? This thing started forty this this plan was developed forty years ago. It is a step by step process and everything else that we hear surrounding it, including Iraq, including you know, uh you know, Kassara, including all of that, those are all sideshows. Those are those are those are 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 planetary sleight of hand to keep people off the scent. The bottom line is the bottom line is this is not under the control of any one country. It is under the control of, of a great many different organizations and nations. It's it's a planetary movement. Okay? So everything you hear, everything, just just consider it bullshit. That's that simple. That's the simple statement, guys. The only thing you can count on is that is that the system and the process has been going down for forty years. They are right at the end of it. And they are and they are doing things that are required to do at the very end, which predominantly revolve around money laundering, gun running, drug dealing, and and uh black hat manipulation of the currency markets. So if somebody says, I know when it's gonna happen, you can you can you can just you can just write it off and say no. If they if they say they know when it's gonna happen, they don't. If they say they know some high end executive at Wells Fargo or God knows what or you know or or I get to talk to grandpa directly, you know, and any of those statements, you you can be you can you can rest assured they don't have that level of access. No one does including Mike Cottrell, the Admiral, Joseph, I mean, you name it. Anybody who's come up there and said that, you know, they, they, they got the ear of God, um, forget about it. That's not true. That's simply not true. This is a complex economic transaction. It is putting the entire planet onto a new way of doing business and handling international monetary transactions. That's what it is, guys. And we lucked out. We lucked out because of Facebook and the Internet. Mass media, yep. you know, social media got us to the table. That's it. And all we can do is is sit there and watch it. You know, we're like a, you know, we're like fans at a basketball game. You know, we can we can get so, some shots that night and all that crap, but but the bottom line is nobody knows. Only the guy man. How do we know that? How do we know the end game is in another five years? 
We said we have to we don't. it. Like Do Bruce it. says, we're we on the cusp. We're on the cusp. And that was, yeah. he said that four months ago, and we're going to hear it again tonight. Oh, it's going to happen. It's really going to happen now. But the thing is, uh, again, I, I, like like Wingman you're not, just you're says. Not, you're not hearing it. <laughs> you're not hearing it. Yeah. Anybody who's predicting it, don't listen to them. It's that simple. Anybody who states a rate, don't listen to them. They're in it. They're in yeah, it but... for the wrong reason. It's ego gratification. It's it's minor sociopathy. It's it's white hat and black hat manipulation. You know, they got 30 million people now they got to control. They weren't supposed to be controlling 30 million people. They were supposed to let this out to two or 3,000 folks. All right, Houston, thank you very much. Oceanside, California, 760, come on down. Me. Hello? 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 Hey! Hello. Can you hear? Hey! Uh, how you doing? Jerry McGuire? Pastor! How you doing? Well, I hadn't talked to you guys in so long, I thought, man, i got to go and tune in and see what's going on and see if I can get... Get Ico to give me some some wisdom and and uh, and a two by four. Yeah, yeah. You, don't count me in on your prayer, buddy. I don't want no two by four. <laughs> wow. My wife. And I, I, I said. I said cousin. I needed it. I said I needed it. I not my brothers. And I sisters. heard you. <laughs> I heard you. Ico missed that prayer. He didn't want it either. Anyway, I just wanted to say hi and. Uh, Tune in, say hi, and uh, see what's going on. And I want to tell that gentleman who just called, and I usually don't give my opinion because I'm usually on a program to pray or something, but uh, I don't think Tony and, and anybody in D.C. ever respected Mountain Goat whatsoever. So um, Mountain Goat it was proven to be an intel operator for the government for a while and retired. And that's what we all found out about it at that point in time. Because we've we've all I feel you and me we've all been on the ride a, a long time, and yeah. uh, that's what they found out. And I don't ever remember them having any respect. And if we all sit around and look at everything negative, I mean, we just might as well quit and go home. But that's we're right. all hoping and believing, and uh, it just doesn't encourage anybody to hear anything negative. And uh, whether it's true or not doesn't make any difference. We're straining to believe, and all of us are in a position or we need whatever we're going to receive to help people with. So it's just better to shoot high and keep believing and uh, kind of move on, you know, because uh, we can argue or we can bring up situations all day long in the past. And I, I appreciate what you said, Ico. I agree with it 100%, all but the, the bullpucky at the end. <laughs> I agree with all mm-hmm. of what you said in in the fact that we don't know. These guys are Well, let's be polite about it and call it – We'll call it. We'll call it. We'll call it uh, mis- misinformation. We'll call it yeah, crowd it, control. It, exactly. You know? it, it, exactly. You know? And and they're smarter than us. They have they have uh, the information. They're letting it yes. out to certain people. Pieces of it that are true and pieces of it that aren't. And so we got to yep. digest all that because when it's time, it's going to happen, and it's going to be good for humanity and for everybody else. And we're going to all find out these things that some of us didn't believe are real. And, some of the things we believe were not real and whatever that might be because we all believe a little different. But being positive and understanding they're, they've got the information, they've got the, uh, you know, they've got all that on their side. We gotta, we're got we finning and fighting and scratching to, to just stay afloat most of the time and keep believing. So anyway. Uh, and, yeah, and, and, I would, and also, you know, I want to point out one thing. And this doesn't this doesn't apply just to Yosef. It applies to to Mountain Goat and Dr. Clark. There is it, it's it's a team of them. It's it's Team Yosef, Team Dr. Clark, and Team Mountain Goat. If you look at the writings, it, it's very evident of two or three different people writing for Team Yosef. You know, some days Team Yosef has a is very calm and controlled and other other times team yosef is is uh it's the cussing letter is what it is <laughs> so yeah yeah I saw that. well you know you know what i would what i would love to see see one of the problems that we all have 
and 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 I went through it uh, for a while. Is um, part of the discussion became a a belief, and it got it got muddled up with re, with religious belief, with with spiritual interpretation, and I would love to see that element set aside. Not not that not that we all. I'm not saying, you know, that we want to deny the existence of Jesus or anything like that. What I'm saying is this is a business transaction, guys. This is like this is like if you went into a broker when Apple first started and put down a thousand bucks back in whatever it was, nineteen I think it was nineteen eighty nine. You know, a thousand dollars in uh-huh. Apple back then. You would you are now a millionaire if you kept your stock, if you just rode that stock. Oh and yeah, that and and that's a business decision. That was an investment decision, and and the problem is this is so incredible because we did we lucked out, and but and and that's where you can get into a discussion of you know are we blessed or were we chosen and all that. that so so that discussion exists in that moment of deciding to uh-huh. get on this. But now what we've got is we've got a simple investment. Uh, uh, um, uh, progression or development, okay? Mm-hmm. And it's taken X amount of time for the stock to value to what we were told it would value when we bought the stock. That's what happens when you buy stock. You, you, it's a very good you, way of looking you, at it. I go, you know, I think, and yeah, I, you, I you buy, and I you, you, you buy into a company. You buy into a company. Nobody expected Apple to be the, you know, literally the, the what is, is it now the wealthiest corporation on the planet? I, I I'm not sure about that. But and it's a just, lot of people got just, off because they hurt negative along the way, and the ones that's who right. stayed on, that's right, stayed committed. They're the ones who made out. Yes, but but it's not it's not a. a I mean, I don't want to I I don't want anyone to misinterpret what I'm saying. It's not about being, you know, a good Christian. <laughs> Staying in this thing, it's about being a smart investor. Just look at the I, facts. I agree. Just, just I only agree. the facts. Okay, it's like you know what it's like. I, I, I tell you because because I went through this when when I was when I was building um, all of these luxury interiors in Manhattan. That was my business, you know. And I did hedge fund corner offices and bank corner offices and insurance funds and lawyers and all this other stuff. It's amazing. What I overheard because I was standing there in a pair of khaki, khaki pants with a Stanley tape measure on my belt. I was invisible mm-hmm. to those guys, and they were talking about some pretty serious stuff. You know, um, yeah. I never, I never, I never took advantage of any of it because it, they were they were all multi million dollar deals. But but I heard inside trading information that had I been a millionaire, I could have turned into a hundred million dollars. Yeah, know? I just didn't, I just didn't have the understanding of it back then. And, and you, you can think we can all think of ourselves as that we were we were standing in the boardroom the day somebody said hey you know what you're gonna buy this currency it's real cheap and the ROI is incredible you know that's essentially what happened here we overheard a conversation we weren't supposed to hear and here we mm-hmm. are yeah you know so so it's it's not about it's 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 not about keeping when, when we say keeping the faith that's such a loaded term you have to be careful. Yes, we have to believe that this, this this stock, this currency, is going to revalue. But there is plenty of hard, concrete, business-based evidence that it is. Um, unfortunately, absolutely, we don't know we don't know exactly when and exactly how much. But but again, all of those business indicators are indicating that it is ready to rock and roll. But it does take time. It just it just does, guys, and and yep. uh, you know all these people, all, all right, these faster. people in our land who are who are who are you know predicting it, they're jumping the gun. Very good. Are you going? Are you going? Are all you going right. to hang around and listen? Listen for a little more. I'm going to be on the side, but let some other callers get in here, okay? Okay. Well, I will uh, try to clean up my language. <laughs> no, stop. I'm not getting on you. <laughs> and if you got if you got something else, raise your hand again, and I'll get you back in here. All right, man. Love you. Good to hear. Good to hear you. Oh, Ico, Ico, Ico. Now what? We got West. We got West Point hanging in the wings here. Do we want to talk to West Point? 
Yeah, well, he's, he, he's usually got something intelligent to say, so why not? And you're like, okay, all right. West Point, come on down. Hey, gentlemen, thank you very much. What a great start to the call, having Pastor come back, and also hearing that Art's doing well as well. Um, I have a question for both Jerry, you, and also Ico, in terms of, you know, the administration that is currently in place um, has some agreements and some agendas that are out there, Paris Accord, maybe Dodd-Frank, um, maybe even some other things related to this whole big scheme of things. My question to you gentlemen is, do you feel that the new presidential elect, there's rumors and there's things out in the media saying that he wants to come in and roll back some of the process, maybe even um, abandon some of the agreements and arrangements. I just wanted to get your viewpoints and thoughts on that. Do you feel like this would impact what we potentially are waiting for? And I appreciate well, you guys taking my call. I, I, I better stay silent, and I'll let Wingman take this because I might get too radical. Yes, you, you will get too radical. Uh-huh. Again, I if I if I stay true to what I just said, um, it it does have influence. Okay, the United States most powerful most power, even even though China quote unquote surpassed us in in and on 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 an economic level this year, we are still the most powerful nation on the planet. So, can we sway things? Yes, but it is my understanding that the, the 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 critical mass was reached. In other words, the Paris Accords could not have been written unless everything not not only was in place but signed, sealed, and delivered. And we do get credible information that massive amounts of digital currency are moving or being put in place around the globe. That's not Dean Arland nonsense. That's 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 hard banking information. Okay, we do get we do get reports that uh, uh, humanitarian efforts, such as relocating the, pol- the entire lower lowland population of Bangladesh. Um, is underway. Like it, that, those are concrete things that are happening. Things like that cannot happen without this massive, massive redistribution of wealth on the planet. Just it just can't. The two hundred nations, agree. the two hundred, you know, the two hundred eight nations that signed the Paris Accord. Yeah, Trump. So Trump's saying, I I don't like that. But but you got to remember, he th- this guy, this guy thrives on confusing uh, the players in any de- deal. He is an expert. Um, some would say a genius. I wouldn't go that far. But he's expert at keeping everybody off balance. And I mean everybody, including his own staff sometimes. You know, the problem that the problem that he's going to have, in, in my estimation, is that you can't run the United States the way you run a corporation because because of all the checks and balances, even in a even in a Republican dominated Congress and conservative Supreme Court, um, you know, and 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 this cabinet man and this cabinet person and that cabinet person in that position, there are still so many checks and balances built in to the Constitution and the way we govern, and also all the deals that we've made. You can't you can't walk onto the stage. And tell the G20, guess what? I don't like I don't like what you guys did with with Iran, for example. Okay, so I'm pulling out. There are so many side deals, all these deals. There's such there's so much to creating balance of power on the planet. He's gonna he's gonna have difficulty with that. So I don't think is it is well if it's something to watch. Yes, it's something to watch. But it's, but but Trump alone and even. Even even the Trump administration cannot throw the whole planet out of kilter like that. There's too many other uh-huh. there's too many other power structures involved. I have I this to say. That. 
All right. Thank you, West Point. Thank you. Thank you. Some things need to change that have been negotiated that have put us in a not a good position. And yes, we have to be flexible with some of the treaties and agreements that have been made, but some of them were made that were, I would say, are to the detriment of this country. Now, we're not going to get into what I think they are and what they aren't because I'm a political idiot. I have my opinions, and if I get up on my soapbox, everybody will hang up. So let us let us take another caller. Uh, Glendale, last four. Oh, crap. <laughs> I, raise your hand. Raise your hand back up there, Glendale. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. There you are right there. I found you. You got your. Glendale, last four of your phone number, 0843. Come on down. Hello, boys. How we doing? Good, good. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Jerry, I'll just share this uh, story that I shared with you earlier. I went to my uh, local Chase Bank and met with uh, an old loan officer who is now the uh, private client manager, which means if he's going to talk to you, you got to have a million in asset. And he pulled me aside because it was a Saturday morning. <clears throat> we had not seen each other in two years. And his first question was, hey, whatever happened to that dinar thing? Now, unfortunately, I have not been able to get back in and have another conversation with him. But we did have a conversation about how things will occur as part of uh, our understanding. But it was it was the first question, not, hey, George, how you doing, anything like that. The first question was, how did that dinar thing go? So he knows something, and I don't know exactly what, but there's no doubt that he would not begin a conversation when we haven't seen each other in that long with that question. And it's the Iran nuclear deal, if you want to know. So there you go. Well, thank you, sir. My pleasure. Y'all have a good afternoon. <clears throat> and let's see. Our next caller. Oh, better buckle up. Strap your seatbelt on. <laughs> Auburn, come on down. You better behave. <laughs> so, did we hear back from the gentleman that was telling us about the bank appointment today. No. Oh, okay. Well, that's why I was asking. Did we address the SNO call? No. <laughs> what SNO call? Him? Huh? Well... Sure. You, you, well, well, you can. We're not going to. But you can. <laughs> All I'm going to say is this, that if you start something, you should finish it. That's where I'm at, and I think I'm speaking for a few thousand people that want to get this done. So, Anyway, I'll be nice about it. I will watch my mouth, but I will tell you guys this. I am very disappointed in the commitment and the integrity of the Dizzy Bear call. So, anyway, um, and I just want to give you guys kudos for sticking in there. And, you know, we're in the final days, and I just want to say I'm glad you guys are sticking it through with everyone. So, thank you for your commitment. No, no pressure. Well, it, it it's it's not like that. This call's going to hell in a handbasket, and we're just you know, just one step from the gate slamming shut and being history. But what the hell? I mean, what the hey? Uh, 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 <laughs> on the phone, behave. 
I know. I'm 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 trying. I'm trying. We love our pastor. We want him here. Maybe yep. pastor can right. pray us out today and give us some prayer that this is almost over and pray some healing on the Dizzy Bear team because I well I you, just you missed it. You you missed it earlier. I I prayed for. A, a little, a little guidance, and just whack me with a two by four one more time. But not my brothers and sisters. I need a little help. So, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, Orlando, four oh seven. Come on down. Let's do it this way. Are one you? question. We'll give you an answer, and we'll go on. Try to. Try to get a few more people in, okay? I got you. How you doing this afternoon, Mike Owen, Jerry, um, and Art and Pastor? I just let you all know that uh, some things are some things have been um, what I should say. It seems like uh, speeding up a lot faster now. I don't understand, can't understand it, can't explain it. But I have to 100% agree with Ico because I was in Afghanistan and Iraq in 2003. Like I said, you all wasn't supposed to know about this. I think you all found out about online about 2004, 2005 ish. I remember standing yep. at the at the little bazaars where they were there with, with guns, and I'm, I'm telling you, the military, the MPs were pulling security on those shops that we were not purchasing any of this Iraqi dinar. It, you, this was not supposed to get out at all. And if anybody wants to get out, it's like it's like Ico said. If you want to get out, and get out. No one's fortunate to stay. It's your, it's our, these are just our opinions. But look at what's happening in the last, I'd probably say, 60 days. The U.N. made some announcements, made more than a few announcements. Iraq's made more than a few announcements. It's, something's happening, and I'd like to get your opinion on it. Uh, at, uh, I know we don't give a rate or a date on this call, but Diet Gum, it's never been like this before, Jerry. Never, ever has it been this much information in this short of time. Can you make a comment on that, either you or Ico? Yes. I'll mute myself out. There's a, there's a lot. Thank you. There's a lot of information out there. You have to learn to read in between the lines, and then it goes back to things that we've heard six, six months, a year ago, a year and a half ago, and the little bell goes ding, 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 because they're going to make an announcement or tell you something, and then they might wait six, eight months or another year before they give you the rest of what they didn't tell you. So we, that's why the big, well, you know, uh, I had to mute that person, sorry. That's why you you have to have the great best quote ever. If it's not in ink, we can't believe it. Well, yes and no. But if you go back and some people keep, keep great notes, some have good memory. I'm short on both of those. Um, that's why I have a wingman. The information they're giving us is is a little bit at a time. And yes, they've had some great announcements, but it, it it's just little tidbits, and we have to put it together with the other things that we've heard. So anyway, thank you for that, and that's that's the best answer I can come up with right now, and I'm quite sure wingman would agree. So let us go to, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go at, ahead. Look at what's real. Look at what's real. Can you touch it? Mm-hmm. Can you feel it? There you go. That's what you can believe in. And mm-hmm. and the rest, you can learn to interpret. You know, you can't, you can't bet the farm on it, but you can learn to interpret There we go. I had some that last caller before I could get him muted out. Put his hand down. So I'm going to butcher the name of of this city, Poway, California, eight five eight. Poway, Jerry, California. Yes. Hello. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I've I've never called in anywhere to this point, but. Um, I guess I'm coming from another direction. I guess I've always been a backdoor man. Um, I'm spiritual, but not tied to any one religion or anything. 
but uh, as far as knowing this thing's going to happen, I don't have a choice in it. Uh, it came to me another way. It didn't come through a man. And I just said yes. Unfortunately, uh, I can't give you a time that it's going to happen uh, because I didn't have the presence of mind just then to ask. Um, but if I can lift up one or two people, just if, if there's someone out there that can accept it that way, it's worth the call in. And I didn't get it. I didn't think I'd get through either. <laughs> I, I love you guys' work, though. Yeah, you, you get real people. Well, thank you. Real people. I appreciate it. And I can leave that alone, or you can you can ask anything you want. It's not much that I know. Uh, I've had a protected life, though, and maybe this is what it's for. I don't know. I don't know. It's been good, though. Well, no, we're 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 good for now. But thank you for calling in. Yeah, but this next year, the the only word I've been able to get so far, glorious. You know, we're in this time, and this is definitely a God thing. Taking those, you know, this crooked world and, and the way we've been doing things, and he, he took that, took took that, and he turned it around and made some good out of it. And uh, we're that good. That's our charge. Glorious. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you. All right. Thank you, sir. Oh, I know. Um, Probably going to pinch myself for this. Auburn, go ahead. I'm going to pinch you. No, <laughs> no, I, I should have said when I came in. Um, you know, when I just want to kind of add to what you were saying about um, how you know everything is getting verified. But um, you know, I have some boots on the ground contacts, and um, I just want to say that the lower denominations are being used in Iraq. Um, where we're confused is how long have they been being used. So I just wanted to shed some light on that and kind of a little bit of everything that we're reading right now. All I can really say is um, if people really want to know what's going on, you're going to just have to go out there and do your due diligence and be able to research it because I'm just not believing any of these blogs anymore. So, but I do feel that we are getting very close and that's why we're getting very uh, confused at this time. So I just wanted to share that with you. I probably should have said that when I came in. So. Thank cool. you. Okay. So I'm 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 scrolling through my call list here, and I'm only deviating just a little bit, and this is probably going to, if it works out. And they don't have their hand raised, but I got a web call that says Capital Infuse out of Switzerland. Would you like to come in Switzerland and and uh, say something? Matter of fact, I'm just going to unmute you. It's a web call out of Switzerland. <coughs> Hello. Uh, it says you're in Switzerland. You just cleared your voice, cleared your throat. I have you unmuted there. Would you like to say something? Um, nine. Okay. Nine it is. It's interesting, some of the people that call in. Uh, we have a web call. Eric, raise your hand raised. Come on down. Hey, Jerry, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Perfect. I read on the I read on the Internet not too long ago that the um, Islamic New Year uh, ends uh, this month in November. They celebrate it uh, like November the 22nd. Have you heard any information or anything about that? Nope, not a peep. And, and at this point... I don't think it really matters because this is a worldly thing. It's just when does it when do the stars align so they can they'll release it. And I and I've said before, all God has to do is raise his hand and say, Get her done and it it'll be done. And so now I gotta go down here because you put your hand down before I I gotta find you.
Well, you're not there. I saw you. There you are, right there. It, the, it, I don't think it has any issues with that. Let's see. Glenn Bernie MD, is that hey, Maryland? Jerry. Maryland, Maryland. Yes, What's sir. Up, Jerry? How you feeling? Hey, how you doing? Good, good. I'm doing fine. Uh, listen, just to calm the masses down, if everybody pay attention, you know, I wasn't, I didn't vote for Trump. Uh, I'm not making this about Trump or Hillary, but if you notice, all of the money has gone down. So when the money goes down, it's going to come back up, so we should see this thing. But if you go on some of the uh, sites where you can watch the money, a couple of the currencies have come up. I've even traded in some of the money. I'm not going to tell you the one that I traded money in on, but I came off ten grand. It was a come up. I didn't have much, and I needed some money, and, you know, I got ten grand off that one currency. So if you watch it, you know what I'm saying, it's coming up. Some stuff is coming up. And, you know, we should see this thing in a matter of time and just be patient. But, you know, the money's dropped. Everything's dropping to come right back up and rise. You know what I'm saying? And they know what they're doing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We're in a good place at the end of the day. That's all I got to say, man. I'm I'm excited. I don't know about y'all. I am. If Thank you, sir. If you're, if you're watching the markets, Brazil just disappeared off the face of the planet. Mm-hmm. You know. Well, the, the, uh, well I say I wasn't. Now's a great time I, I to buy the peso. Say anything, but the yuan, the yuan is, is is up to about seventeen cents. You know what I'm saying? The uh, um, the yuan, the uh, uh, the rupiah, rupiah is tradable. You know what I'm saying? If you got yeah. some. Yeah. 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 It's not much, right. but it's something if you need some money in your pocket. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So just watch, oh, watch, oh. watch, the, watch the market. And and I want to say this since we got a full call here. Mm-hmm. This is about, I'm going to say this a couple of times. I get emails all the time. Uh, you you put your hand down, and you probably didn't mute yourself. Yeah. yeah. Put your hand back. I'm back up, Jerry. Okay. All right. So this is about Twitter. Mm-hmm. Listen closely. You do not, I repeat, you do not have to have a Twitter account to follow me, the wing it call. Mm -hmm. The instructions how to follow me on Twitter are on my homepage on the wingitcall.com. There's a lot of people that are confused because Wolfie over in his site, he doesn't have 5,000 people following him, so he can set his Twitter account to where people have to ask for permission and they have to have a Twitter account. Not so with the wing it call. You don't have to have a Twitter account to follow me, and the instructions are on my homepage on the wingitcall.com. So there we go. All righty, sir. Well, thank you very much for your insight. All right, bye. Appreciate it. Napperville, 630, come on down. Yeah, hi, Jerry. How are you? Good today. How are you? I'm doing very good. I got uh, one quick question for you. Remember our uh, friends from the soil restoration up in, I don't know, Oregon, I think they were someplace up there. Ab- and absolutely. Were, what can I do for you? Did, did we ever get any uh, updates from them? Because I remember about a payment that was supposed to come through. Mm, not, not yet. Yeah. Oh, not yet. Hold on. Okay. Right. Maybe, maybe. Hold hold on. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Just stay right there. Bend, Oregon. Is this who I think it is? That's who you think it is. Soil King dude. McGuire. King McGuire <laughs> with the Winged Nation. <laughs> yeah, I, I've been listening, and quite honestly, I wanted to 
uh, interject a big thank you to the, all the wing it callers that, uh, uh, participate on your call. We, uh, had a number, uh, respond to the, the talks we had about soil and hopefully it helped deflect some of the anxiety back there in the waiting time and think about something constructive. We've really enjoyed talking with so many about the projects that they have on their heart and worked with a few in relation to the, the planning of those. Uh, in some cases, we've been able to offer some guidance or assistance, and, and, uh, but, but we've really been impressed by the hearts of the people on this call. Uh, they really do care about each other and care about others, and it's really been a joy dealing with them. Now, we had a number of callers that signed up for our first inaugural newsletter, which we got so busy we were not able to release it until last night. And it did go out to a number of you by email. There will be, within the next couple of days, a copy of that newsletter posted on our website. And I just want to take the time to thank everybody. We have really enjoyed talking with all you folks. Uh, now, was there a specific question that the caller had for soil restoration? Well, I don't know. Let me unmute him. Napperville? Yes, hi. Um, Again, I, I, I really appreciate uh, you taking my call here, and, and I appreciate your product, too. That's uh, I was on that special call that Jerry had that one Monday, and I think I had a few questions for you and uh, really impressed with the product. But I remember, uh, I think it was one of your uh, salespeople or marketing people or whomever was in touch with the, um, I think, several countries, maybe China, Iraq, you mentioned a few uh, that you were in the process of receiving funds from. I think that was your initial call. And um, and it was supposed to be imminent, uh, the Iraq payment, uh, and that's why we thought that the RV was going to happen. And then I think things just kind of slipped through the cracks from there as far as updates go on that. Could you possibly give us any update on that, or is that proprietary information? No, I sure can. Uh, we have heard many excuses as to delays, and quite honestly, in dealing with government individuals over there, um, we've kind of gained a respect for what a body is has been able to accomplish, because in many cases, the people that make up the government, they're representative of the population. So consequently, many times you have two people that may be working together that have been lifelong enemies. And so I've really got to give a body uh, uh, applause for, for the work he's been able to do in unifying that government. This is what we've found in working with him. Now, Quite honestly, I don't know that any of the government employees that we deal with actually know the truth about why the delays in the funding is occurring. Um, like you said, uh, we were told uh, well over a month ago to expect hmm. the wire. And, and we had not heard anything until day before yesterday. Um, our man received a call saying that on Sunday, funds were wired from Iraq. Mm -hmm. And my first question was, well, we've heard about the accelerated efficiency of the SIP system. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. if that were the case, why wouldn't we have received funds, even internationally like that, within a minute or within uh, uh, an expedient fashion. But I mm -hmm. think it's clear, in spite of what everybody says, that 
uh, I can only assume the Swiss system is still in place and being mm-hmm. used in Iraq. There may be scrutiny uh, in relation to the funds coming from Iraq over here, but I anticipated knowing something. I was hoping to know something today. Uh, if, mm-hmm. in fact, they did wire it out on Sunday. Uh, this is the first time they've actually told us uh, not to expect the wire, but the wire was sent. Mm. So so we're hopeful that we will receive it. And when we do, mm. I'll be sure and let Jerry know so that uh, he can be aware that uh, there are many people that are interested in knowing when the funds are actually received, because some people kind of feel like it's the canary in the coal mine that would indicate the new system is in place and funds are moving again. Well, thank you so much. Hopefully that answers your question. You're you're our best boots on the ground. Keep on going. (laughs) All righty. Thank you, Naperville. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oakland, how's the Raiders doing out there? Are they moving? Are they abandoning ship and going to Vegas, or what are they doing? Jerry? Oakland, yes? Hi there. I'm not really in Oakland. I used to live there, but I live south of there now. Never was a Raiders fan, sorry to say to you. Go Cowboys? Go Cowboys? (laughs) No, hon, I'm just not into organized sports. But what I wanted to ask you is, could you please say a few more words about why you choose for yourself, I'll put it that way, the Master's Trust over other trusts? Okay. I chose that particular trust over the rest of them because they have a website that I can go to. I can read about the the, the laws, the IRS laws that are attached to it. There's people with a pulse that you can ask a question to, and they can give you all the statutes to go with it. So that's why I chose that one. And I've asked many, many questions before I actually dived off into it. It has great benefits. And I I know somebody that actually has the full, complete trust. I was able to go over and look at it. And I like it. That's just a short version that could be a real complicated answer, but that's why. Well, thank you. I respect that. I wonder if ICO would have anything to add to that. We're going to make it short. If Wingman yeah, I would say, even chooses, I would I would say quite quite simply, they're the they're the they're the they were they were also one of the first heads up um, groups to recognize that uh, there was this there was this market out there that needed to be serviced. You know, and I respect that. That's that's good business. You know, they, they everybody else is like, well, you know, when you get your money, give me a call back. Because I researched three different trusts, okay? And Masters was the only organization that said, you know what, we'll work with you on this. So that was it. It, it, was, it was that simple. You know, they got the right product. And they got the right sales attitude. There you go. Does that help you out, ma'am? Yes, thank you very much. I do agree with both of you. And I'm just wanting to make sure that I know I guess I You made the right decision. Sure. Yes. You made the right decision. Yeah, it is. You did. That's a legitimate trust. It's a perfectly legitimate okay. proven mature trust. It works. It's it's been around for a while. It's not a fly by night. It's not something that was just created. It was simply directed properly, you know. Mm-hmm. Which is, that's how that's how you. I understand. That's how you survive the business. Yeah. 
Thank you, and ma'am. Thank you very, thank you very much. Okay. Oh, here we go. Wilmington, Delaware. Come on down. 302. Wilmington, 302. Well, Jerry, if uh, yeah. if that's me. That is? Um, okay. Um, I, I was... Um, Wait a minute. Are you in Florida? Florida? Is... No, Delaware. Uh, okay. Go ahead. The fellow that came on and said he uh, stopped at the bank and ran into a guy that he hadn't seen in two years, and he asked a question about what are you doing with that yes. uh, dinar stuff. Uh, I was confused because if somebody would have asked me that at a bank and would have asked you, what would you have said? Because he well, let, us, it's left some, us with nothing. It's, well, it's somebody that that he knows that was poo-pooing about the dinar until he got moved from a from my finance officer into a private banker position, right. and then all of a sudden his attitude has changed, and that's what he was so referring to. It, it, if somebody would have asked you that question, would you not have turned around and said, funny that you should ask about that. Tell me what you know. And that that query is, is into the person, and when we get some more on that, I will bring it to you. Super duper. Thank you. Appreciate what you do. You're welcome. But I would, I would also say that he, the, 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 the caller knows more than the banker at this point. Because I've got the same situation with my with my private banker, you know, with my wealth mm-hmm. manager. He calls me and asks me what's going on because they won't tell him anything. They all know about it now, but corporate will not tell them anything. His his line was they're treating us like mushrooms, you know. Oh yeah, they keep saying they keep saying the company line. It's a scam. It's not going to do anything, and we're yep, not exchanging. Exactly. And we and yeah, we've discussed was, that too. Yep, there was a Wells Fargo white paper last month. Reinforcing the whole thing about DNR is a scam. Do not direct clients to purchase it, blah, 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 blah. This was less than less than a month ago. Okay, so corporate is still saying they got nothing to do with it. And you know what? They're telling the truth because the retail banking industry, Wells Fargo, doesn't have anything to do with it. It's another Wells Fargo corporation. It has everything to do with it. So it's and a lie within a lie, but it's a little white yep. lie. Okay, but it's a little white lie. You know, they technically they're telling the truth, but morally, they're lying through their, you know what? <laughs> so. Yep. Um, All righty. Yeah. Let's take our last caller of the day, Raleigh, North Carolina. Come on down. Hey, real quick question, the lady bringing up the question about the trust. I went to listen to the recordings for the trust, last couple of trust calls, and it says uh-huh. they've been deleted deleted or, um, well, denied access, not denied access, deleted, and there was some other word for it anyway, but we can't get to them. Do you know what's going on with those? Uh, let me look into it, and I'll try to get you an answer, because I see you sent me an email, too. Yes, I did. All hey, right. I mean, you Thank actually you. looked at the email. Okay, that's good news. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. You're welcome. Well, another good call. Hope it was informative for everybody. We're bringing to you what we know, what we consider to be level-headed, grounded thinking. And I'm not talking about stinking thinking from the neck up either. So we try, hope it's working. Wingman, any words of wisdom before you give us those last wonderful words for the day? Just, um, uh, uh, I don't know. Just hang in there, everybody. It's, it's, it's in process. 
Okay. It just is. If, if, I wish I wish to tell you how I know, but it is. If you bought it, keep it, don't give it away, and and use your discernment. You've been in it long enough. You've read enough people. Just wait till your appointment, put it down there, and say, let's talk about it. That's all we can do. All right. Last words there, wingman? Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. The conference is now completed. Goodbye. Welcome to the conference. Please enter the conference ID, followed by the pound key.